Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to brute force a WordPress login page in order to gain access to a WordPress website that you don't know the password for. And I'm gonna stop right there and give you a big disclaimer that the reason that I'm showing you how to do this is not because I want you to do this on your own, but rather to show you how easy it is for hackers to implement something like this and show you by the end of this video exactly how you can prevent this from happening on your website. I truly believe that by demonstrating this, it will uh, hopefully kind of light a fire under your butt and scare you into installing a plugin, taking a measure to prevent this from happening to your website. Uh, because none of us want our websites to be compromised. So let's go ahead and show you how this all works and then show you how to prevent it from happening. And if you're not familiar, brute forcing is just a way of pretty much repetitively at a very fast rate, trying different passwords on the login page automatically, systematically, so that you uh, eventually at some point with enough time, you can figure out what the password is. So let's go ahead and hop on in here to the tutorial. All right, I have a secure website, like, comment, subscribe club, and, and I do know the password password because I set it up, but I'm gonna pretend that I don't know the password. And, and what I did um, was installed some code that somebody wrote on GitHub to brute force WordPress. And, and this is a well-known thing. If you go to github.com, and all you have to do is search for WordPress brute force, something like that. And you have 136 repositories that could potentially be related to helping you do that. So uh, I, I checked out a couple of these. The one that I ended up using was this X brute forcer one. It's a Perl script. We'll take a look at that in a second. But what I did, I already have a, a server here running um, and I have the X brute forcer software installed here and it's just if if you never used git uh, github before uh, basically all you have to do is come in here and click on get the code copy the url and then on your server you can do git clone and then the name of the url that you want to pull and that's going to pull down all of that data onto your local file system and and that's what that looks like um, it's just one single Perl script okay so how do you run this? Well, you need Perl installed, so you need to install Perl, do that first, and then you can do Perl, call the name of the script that you wanna run, which is xbruteforcer.pl, and I'm gonna give it the dash H flag for help to understand how to run this. And actually, um, all of this information is uh, right here as well. But if you're on the command line, this is what that looks like. So basically you're gonna say Perl, the name of the script, and then you're gonna give it a pass, a list of websites, I'm sorry, you're gonna give it a list of websites, as you can see here, that you wanna brute force. For us, it's just gonna be uh, this one right here, like, comment, subscribe, club, and then you are going to give it a password file. So that's kinda of how it brute forces uh, itself with this passwords file. You're gonna give it a list of common passwords, which we'll, I'll show you how to get those as well. And then it's gonna basically systematically run through top to bottom and try to try every single one of those passwords to log into the website in the list.txt file uh, systematically one by one. And it does it really quick because it's a program, it's a computer program. So um, let's take care of this. Let's make our list.txt file. So you can use the Vim text editor, list.txt, and just gonna put in here this URL. So like, comment, subscribe club paste that in there, okay? And then our passwords file. So there is a passwords file here. Let me see what that looks like. Um, it has uh, 110 passwords in here, common passwords. We're gonna get rid of that one. And I'm gonna show you a different password file. Again, something on GitHub that I found. It's at this URL. And um, this has 10 million passwords. Top top 10 million common passwords. It's 8.13 uh, megabytes in size. And let's take a look at it. Um, how do we view the raw file? And that'll take a little bit. So here, this one, two, three, four, five, six, password, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And this goes on and on for 10 million rows. What we're gonna do is copy this URL right here, open up our terminal window again, and use the wget command to download that onto our file system. And now we have that on our file system. 
and just so you know that it's on here we'll look at that again and there's there's the same content in here okay so let's rename that um i'll use the move command to just rename that to a simpler file name called passwords dot text okay so now we have our website list which looks like this our passwords list which has 10 million passwords in it and then the script that we want to execute so we can finally uh, come back here, copy this Perl expert forcer, give the list, give it the password, and hit enter. So the it's asking you which type of website do you want to brute force. So this can do more than just WordPress. Uh, some of these other options here, we're just going to do WordPress. Okay. And then it said, oops, line 269, there's an error. So no such file or directory at brute forcer line 269. Let me debug that real quick okay my bad it was uh it's asking i told it i told it that i was giving it a file called passwords.txt but i named the file uh, password.txt so sorry about that we'll try that one more time and then we're going to pick wordpress hit enter and now it's literally going through that file one by one you can just, you can see this go pretty quickly uh, trying all these different passwords and and what I actually did before we're not going to sit here and wait for this to happen but what I actually did before was I ran this um, and recorded it was what you're seeing on the screen right now sped up really really quick and it only took 45 minutes for this password cracking code to find the password of my WordPress website, which as you can see here on the screen is Tony Stark. Okay, that was the password of the WordPress login and the username was admin, the password was Tony Stark, and it only took 45 minutes for it to figure this out. So that is hopefully a reason for you guys to install some type of security on your WordPress website to prevent this from happening. And something that I'm gonna show you how to use is the Loginizer plugin. It's a free plugin uh, to prevent brute force login attempts from happening. And the way this works is after so many failed login attempts, it'll just lock that person out from even trying any subsequent login. So let me walk you through the process here at uh, like, comment, subscribe club. We'll go to the WordPress admin uh, dashboard will log in with admin and Tony Stark. And in here, we'll go to the plugin section, go to add new, and we'll type in loginizer. And this is what we want right here by Softaculous. Install that. And then we'll activate it. And I think out of the box, the settings for this are going to uh, block after three attempts, let me see, brute force here. Uh, yeah, so after three failed attempts, you're gonna get locked out from logging in. Um, and then after some amount of time, uh, 15 minutes, they'll be able to retry. So you can, you can play around with these numbers and even get email notifications of somebody trying to lo uh, brute force yourself, your website. Um, but we're just gonna keep the defaults now. So let's, let's test this out. Let's go, um, let's log out of here. Whoops, let's log out of our website and then we'll try to log back in. So we'll type admin and I'm gonna type the wrong password here, okay? Now it says incorrect username or password two attempts less. So we'll try uh, uh, admin and then we'll do another wrong password. One attempt less left and then admin, we'll get it wrong the third time. Zero attempts left and now we're done. So anything after this, you exceed the max login retries, please try again after 15 minutes. So if we would run the script and we're gonna run the script again, it would be locked out after three rows in the passwords file. And it would keep trying because the script's not smart enough to know that it's locked out. It would just keep trying through it. And, and when it gets down to that point in the file where it gets to Tony Stark, it's gonna try it and it's gonna fail even though it's the correct password because it's locked out. So it can brute force all day, get the correct password and still not gain access to the system because we put this plugin on our WordPress website. So let's let's do a basic demonstration of how that works. So if we go open our terminal window again and let's uh, let's remove our passwords file and make a new one. We're just gonna call it password again. And we're gonna do password. Uh, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. 
we're going to do um, hello world. And then the fourth password in this passwords file is Tony Stark. Okay, so under normal circumstances without the Loginizer plugin, this would get this would be able to log in successfully after four tries, but because we have that plugin installed, it's not going to work. So let's run that again. Perl xbruteforcer.pl. We're going to give it the list of websites that we want to try, which is like common subscribe.club and then the password dash p password.txt. Hit enter. It's going to try all those. Uh, well, we have to tell it's a WordPress website. Now it's going to try all those WordPress passwords to log in and none of them work. As you can see, it tried those four passwords and it was not able to successfully log in. Now, another big part of um, logging into a WordPress site that you don't know any of the credentials is, is the username, right? So half of the credentials is the username and the other half is the password. So it's a good idea to hide or obfuscate your password and that's what this video is going to help you do for wordpress so i recommend that you check that out next and i got some other videos about general wordpress security that you should check out as well i want to thank you guys for watching subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future and if you do i'll see you in the next one